All right, so uh, by now you've probably read about, uh, heard about, uh, seen on the news, uh, the ecological disaster happening in East Palestine, Ohio. A small little town, about 5,000 people there. Um, this extremely toxic uh, chemical uh, dumped in their town. They decided to uh, burn it off in a controlled burn. Uh, and if you see the pictures of the burn, it literally looks like a mushroom cloud from hell. Uh, I forget the name of the the, the, the chemical they were uh, burning, but it was a it, it's a it's a known carcinogen. Um, if you know it, leave it down in the comments. Uh, anyways, so yeah, this disaster is unfolding, and the in the politics are about to uh, unravel too. Uh, and I read that Donald Trump is on his way to East Palestine, Ohio, to give a rally, probably, uh, or uh, you know, to exploit this political opportunity to say, "Hey, look at the Joe Biden administration and them screwing up." And there's validity there. Uh, um, the the Biden admin, Pete Buttigieg, the Secretary of Transportation. You know, these people are at fault. Uh, it happens under your watch, so you have to take responsibility for it. That's just the way it is. But there's so much subtext going on here. Like Donald Trump, one of the first things he did when he got in office, he 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 dedicated his life to undoing Obama's agenda. As much legislation and regulation that Obama put in, Donald Trump wanted to undo. I don't know. Uh a black man bad, uh, you know, Trump is a tiny penis. I, I, I don't know why, it, it, it's something petty, you know, it's just, you know, the birther thing, we we know, we know it's petty. But anyways, one of those things was uh, uh, train uh, uh, safety regulations. Th those were repealed by Trump. And he's going there soon to, g <laughs> to give a rally, a speech, to say, hey, look at the Biden administration, screwing up reality truly doesn't matter anymore to these fascists they simply just recreate everything anything that is politically expedient is viable in the political world it always has been to a degree but there were margins. There used to be a buffer zone. There used to be people, you know, that had, you know, some modicum of integrity, uh, you know, when executing uh, their politics. It's so far gone. Donald Trump is the literal guy who rolled back Obama era train safety regulation standards. And he's going there in a couple days to point at the Biden administration. His base, and he knows his base, is so polluted by disinformation, misinformation, lies, and deceit that he can get away with this now. He's been doing it for so long, he can do this. Re Once again, reality does not matter anymore. And the sad thing is, Biden and Buttigieg are, are, are liable for this, okay? Okay. Those guys have taken, like Trump did, the sides of the corporations over the livelihood of workers and the general population. It's two sides of the same coin here. Biden, Buttigieg, and Trump and his administration are all at fault because they went to bat for corporations and what they wanted. What a mess. It, it just makes me really mad that in the, in the information age, people can get away with such treachery. Like, and I'm speaking as someone who cares about the facts. Objective reality is important. And for them, it's not. And this is just another reason. This is another, another one for the chalkboard. Just put it up there. There's, there's thousands upon thousands of them at this point. And Trump is just the personification of post-truth. Like, it, it doesn't matter anymore. The, the truth doesn't matter. 
fascists throughout time have always made their message about truth, their truth. What they say is the truth now, because this is an authoritarian mindset. Of course it is. You have conservatives defaulting to fascism. You have liberals defaulting to uh, you know, neoliberalism. And us sane-minded, centrist, uh, the real centrist, progressives of the country, yeah, it, 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 we're just in horror of how low the bar is in our politics. I'm, I'm never going to get used to it, okay? And don't ever get used to it. That's my message. Don't ever acclimate. Keep calling it out. It's your duty to keep calling these things out. If we don't have facts, reason, uh, you know, as starting points for our discourse, what are we doing? It makes no sense. Unless you want to just default to fascism like most conservatives are doing in the year 2023. Where the, the Fuhrer's message is everything and uh, objective reality doesn't serve the cause anymore. But anyways, let me your thoughts about East Palestine, Ohio, and the disaster. If you have any information or anything you want to talk about uh, with that topic. Hope you're having an awesome day.